What is going on Beamer fam? Welcome back. My name is AJ and you're watching the Beamer Dude channel. And today we're going to be working on the E46 M3. We got a nice little hack, a little nice interior mod for the E46. You don't want to miss out on this one, so stay tuned. Okay, so if you clicked on today's video, you know what we're working on. We're working on the E46. It's an interior modification that I have been doing in all my cars, and I really just can't believe that I haven't created a video for this. So um, we're working on the E46. This car really needs this modification. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we're installing uh, a quick USB charger in the place of a cigarette lighter. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you have E46 M3 or E46 or a BMW at all, you shouldn't be smoking in your cars. It's not good for you. Uh, it's also not good for your car. So um, what better use than to take out the cigarette lighter all together and replace it with this quick uh, charging unit. I picked it up on eBay. It was fairly cheap. It was about $15 and it got here in about two business days. Um, so let me show you uh, what I picked up because I think you're going to really like it. All right, guys, so this is what we have. Um, this came in the mail, it's about 15 bucks. Obviously, this is what goes in place of your cigarette lighter. And this is uh, the gauge, how the wire that it came with. It's actually not bad. I would say this is about 14 gauge, maybe 16 gauge. Seems to be of uh, very good quality. And it even came with uh, one of those inline style fuses, which is also a nice little plus. Be a great thing to have uh, when introducing something like this. Uh, this particular charger here is a five volt char charger. Uh, the amperage is high enough to where uh, it's probably a good idea to have it in my fuse but um, this is not just your uh, run-of-the-mill uh, socket replacement uh, for the USB charger the reason I picked this one up is because this one has a red display that shows your voltage your current voltage which is a great thing if you live anywhere that's cold right now because we all know that car batteries love to die in the cold. The great thing about this one is that it has a voltage readout right here in the center and it's actually uh, the same color uh, that you'll find on the E46 dash which is something I was really adamant about and I was willing to pay a few extra dollars to get something that would match kind of uh, in the uh, interior cabin. So um, let's go ahead and test fit this. Uh, obviously we're not going to run this little dust cap which is a nice feature but I just think it looks kind of um, cheesy. We're not going to run this. We're going to be able to pull this off and uh, let's see how well it fits in the cigarette letter area. All right so as you guys can see we have uh, your standard uh, cigarette letter charger. These here are they're fine. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I have this problem to where um, they always seem to kind of work themselves out. And you have your phone on their phone holder. I have a nice little, you know, aluminum one here. This is all fine and well, but it seems to work itself out of here. And you think your phone is actually charging when it's not. It's kind of old fashioned and outdated. And I really wanted to have something that looked a lot better. And most of all, you cannot close this right here, which is kind of an eyesore. Obviously, I don't smoke. I've never really had this interior piece right here. That I guess is for the ashtray. I never had that even when I bought the car. So um, having this open is just kind of an eyesore. It'd be really great if I could just close this thing and that's where this comes in. So I'm going to get this one pulled out and we're going to see how close this is to the diameter of the factory one.
All right, guys, so obviously what we have here is the center console, and the thing that we need to modify possibly um, is a cigarette lighter hole here. I really, I'm really hoping that the diameter of this is what we need it to be because once, because if I do have to Dremel into this, there is no going back, and then I have to buy a whole new one. And um, if you're not uh, familiar with the E46M3, the center console of this piece here is slightly different um, than a standard E46. So if I destroy this one, <laughs> we're going to have to go uh, shell out some money just for a E46 M3 one. I don't want to do that. So let's get it right the first time, shall we? We need to get this particular thing out of here and, and see if it fits without us having to modify it. That was simple enough. Just twist and push it through. Alright, so that is pretty well hacked up. Let's see if it's uh, wide enough to fit the new one. Oof. Oh, I do want to note that this does kind of get in the way of this interior lighting, um, this little LED light or whatever you guys want to call this. Uh, but the good news is you can just move this out. And um, this is actually removable. So you can pull that out. Don't really need the uh, illumination that happens in there anyway. And that should free us up to use the nut that it comes with on the back of here. All right, another little quirk uh, that just <laughs> presented itself is um, you're going to actually have to put the nut that it comes with um, down flush on the back end of that collar there because if you try to put it up here towards the top, you're going to run into issues with um, this trying to uh, thread into that. So um, make sure you lay it flush down that back collar and then just thread on this from the front side and um, you should be able to get this on there with no problem. See you guys in about 10 minutes. <laughs> guys so we got it down nice and flush um, I just love that fit and finish so much cleaner than that old-fashioned design and um, got it cinched down pretty good on the back here now if you just want to go for gold you could always um, hot glue it back here on the back or maybe even plastic weld the threaded section to the actual bezel but I don't really think that's necessary maybe I'll do it further down the line if they're just I've run into issues with this backing off but that really shouldn't happen at all so all we have to do now is to wire this in with the factory harness but shouldn't be too hard it's a really easy setup because on the E46 and older BMW's uh, power to the cigarette lighter is continuous which is the whole reason I picked the one up that actually has a voltmeter here so we can see how much amperage we actually draw from the battery at startup and you, you can watch your voltage on your battery keep an eye on it to see if your battery is failing or if you don't have a battery issue and you, you possibly have an alternator issue you can actually watch the alternator charging the battery and keeping it consistent while you're driving Alright so it is installed, everything is where it needs to be. We can close this if you don't want to see the display, you can tap it again, tap it again and you can see the display. Um, currently I have um, the key not in the, in the ignition and I actually have the lights turned on and it's reading uh, a voltage of 11.9. If I turn off the lights here, the voltage should go back up. Well it's not going back up but you get the idea. Close the doors here. and turn this light off and this sh should go back up there we go and there you have it now it's not exactly where it was before but 
it'll make its way back there. Again, uh, I'm wondering if the battery that's in my car right now is actually getting weaker, but we will find that out. This is a great tool to have, so you can actually determine that and not be surprised if you come out from work one day and your car will not start. You'll be able to see right here what's going on with your battery. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys like today's video. I really love uh, the modification we did on the E46. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and I didn't want to do it without including you guys. So if you like videos like this for the E46, let me know down in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Again, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Really help my videos trend better for these topics. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching the Beamer Dude channel and as always peace out and God speak guys.